Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. It's Saturday. Welcome to tonight's stream. We're going to be playing some late night Tomodachi Life. Checking up on our island. I was going to do it yesterday, honestly, because I just needed to chill after being with Jen all day. Hi, V. Hello. Um. But then I realized TF2 updated, but then TF2 had a bot problem, but I still wanted to play a shooter, so I didn't play Tomodachi Life. But I'm making up for that tonight. Tonight is the Tomodachi night. Um, I've been lo I, I, I love these Tomodachi streams. I do feel like we're kind of getting close to the end of an arc a little bit. You know, we got a couple of marriages. We might, we might be coming up on babies soon, which is like fucked up. We might be coming up on babies in this game. I don't really have too much to say for the intro, although if you were not here for last night, uh, we have a lot more uh, emotes now. Oh my god, this is like two days ahead still, whoops. <laughs> it's six on the goddamn morning in the game, whoopsie. Donuts. Welcome. I'll buy a million donuts from you, Bethany. You don't even have to say anything. I'll buy them all. Oh, yo, we got some stomach medicine. Pog. Wait, why are you giving me that after you give me a bunch of donuts? Where's game? <gasps> is it not showing up? Oh my god, it isn't showing up. What the fuck? Oh shit, you're right. There we go. I don't know why the fuck it wasn't showing up. Anyways, I'm really concerned about this. I just bought 99- Well, actually, you know what? I probably will need stomach medicine after eating 99 donuts. I might need to be put down after that, to be honest. Alright. Someone, someone can have blue cheese. It's not gonna be me, but someone can have blue cheese. That's my alarm for the med check. Early, early med check into the stream, but a necessary one. Alright, just give me one second. I have like five waters at my desk right now. I have so many options. For one thing that tastes so fuck all. We love water here. Anybody who's not a real Hydro homie can fuck off. We take meds at the same time, let's go. You know I gotta get the sardines. You know I gotta get the sardines. Eleven just has to be- it, it just happens to be like a good time for me to take my meds. Cause it's like... If I'm doing a late night stream, it guarantees I don't get like immediately knocked out. But it also makes sure I don't take it at like fucking 1.30 in the morning and then I'm like, fuck, wait, I'm never gonna go to bed at this rate. Welcome. Welcome. Yo, <laughs> hey Blinken, work in the clothes store, let's go. Have a nice day. 
Thank you, Abe. Welcome. All, all the new ones we can't afford. Fuck. We do need the holiday one. It's important that we get the holiday one, especially since it's this month only. I would really like Pirate Ship too, but that might be too ambitious for one stream. Hello, Good old Bernie. The edition of me news. Tree climbing is fast becoming an underground sport on Pretty Good Island. Climbing trees <laughs> has become popular as a way to stay healthy and be with nature. See, I could- I can believe Wife of Bigfoot doing this. I cannot see Bort being really into climbing trees. I think he'd get scared. We asked some islanders for their thoughts on the matter. Hulk toilet! True. In words, we're having a really slow meeting, right? Thanks for watching. For your 7 o'clock me news, this is Bernie Blank, signing off. I feel refreshed. We got love? Flush the mochi being in love. She got here like two streams ago. She's already feeling it. You should go for it. You should you should get with Bernie Blank. I mean, why not? She is flushed emoji. It's like important. Oh no! Bernie rejected her so fast. I'm so sorry, flushed emoji. Oh, this is so tragic. Fuck. Do you want some white bread? I feel so bad. Her 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 lust. It got the better of her. <laughs> you want tap water? I don't know, I guess, like, Bernie's just not into the idea of dating an emoji. Which, I mean, I don't even necessarily blame him for, but... He, he rejected her so fast. Didn't even give her, like, a fucking second. Dude, tomato soup is, like, dope. Dude, when I was on vacation in Hawaii, I, like, at a restaurant for an appetizer, I had, like, a tomato soup with a grilled cheese. And I was like, man, the person who, like, posted about, like, grilled cheese and tomato soup being the best thing ever was, like, right. That shit is, like, divine. I actually think there is, like, quite literally no food combo better than a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Like, scientists are still trying to figure out a better combination, and it just has not happened. It's the ultimate treat. I have a party hat. I I'm trying so hard for flushed emoji here. I'm not leaving until she's well. Oh, uh, she hates my hat. Do you want cake hat? She likes that more. If we had the wedding house... That would be, like, dope to give to her. Um... Yeah, you know what? Hopefully this is enough to make you not sad anymore. Just, like, have a nice meal. 
After all that white bread and tap water I've been giving you, <laughs> enjoy, like, real food. I guess she's not actually gonna eat it, but, you know, it is about the joy of cooking. That's the most important thing. Wait, she's, like, actually really good at cooking. That- that seems, like, really fucking tasty. Damn. Flushed emoji chef arc? No sad no more. Be happy. Yeah, literally once in a lifetime. Don't worry, flushed emoji. I wasn't gonna let you ruminate on your sadness. Even though you're only getting along okay with me. Oh, yo, Big Beef, though. No. We love Big Beef. What's up, man? What's up, Beef Meister? Is that why you're not getting along with my meat? <laughs> yeah, sounds great. <laughs> oh, God. This is a certified neighbor moment. <laughs> Truly. Um... Money, baby. Let's talk about money with that neighbor. Holy shit. It seems like we're getting along quite swimmingly with the neighbor. You know, it, I, I may not like his shitty-ass video game, but I, I respect the individual. You know, I respect the neighbor, despite the fact that his game is ass. You know. People aren't defined by their games. If I had a video game, it would probably be like a solid, like, 3 out of 10. And it would have three people who go to bat for it. And that's fucking okay. Alright, you, you, you have to be honest with yourself. Here, I want you to have this. That was fun. That makes me happy. My me's still asleep. <laughs> when you look past the whole brutalizing children thing, he's pretty chill. <laughs> Real shit. Madeline is still asleep. So is Mimey. Snoker's still asleep. King Mario. It makes sense that Mimey is still asleep. I imagine that Mimey also works the night shift. I lost something really important. Can you see if anyone's found it? Oh, yeah, Krungus. Sure thing. You're the best. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any love. Love the shrimp hat. I hate smiling for photos. Who is the photographer to tell me what to do? <laughs> it's kind of real for that one. Cosign? Because that was some real shit you just said. We should, like, hang out with some of the newer islanders. Like, what do you want, Cloud? I haven't seen you for a week, Morgan's look alive. Sorry, I haven't seen fucking anybody for a week. I like a look for my apartment. Um... Well, a country, because he lived in, like, a little a little town. Down in old Nibelheim. Thanks for the amazing it reminds him of home! Let's go! Wanna take a look He's so happy! It's like, it, it's like Sephiroth never even burned it down. Very nice. No complaints. I'm having fun just looking around. Don't spin around too much. You might get dizzy and break something. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> he just keeps walking. He's like, fucking whatever, man. Is always nice. Whatever.
What would, what would Cloud Strife want? Hmm. Cloud, you need a skateboard. Listen, Square Enix never made a Final Fantasy skateboarding game, but they really should have. A Final Fantasy VII spinoff that's like a Tony Hawk ripoff would have gone crazy. Honestly, we needed more companies to jump on like the skateboarding trend. It's like kind of unfair that the funniest skateboarding game that exists is like the Disney one. Because why the, why the fuck Simba skateboarding? He doesn't know what that is. What fucking time period does the Lion King even take place in? It kind of would say Final Fantasy. Honestly. I don't know if I really want to help Bald Salad. What kind of specific ass request is that? I don't think we have split pea soup. What the fuck? Oh, we do. <laughs> Color isn't too appetizing, but this soup is incredibly good for you. So he's like... I don't know. I don't trust you. Is this the first all- super all-time favorite food we've found? And it's for fucking bald salad? Come on! <laughs> Kirby Air Ride was almost that kind of. Dude, Kirby skateboarding kind of want to gone crazy. You know, I'm starting to think that Bald Salad isn't, like, necessarily evil. I think he's just kind of pathetic. You know what I mean? I think because he's been ripped away from, like, a powerful vessel, he just kind of, he just kind of doesn't do anything. Can't imagine someone liking pea soup that much. Well, it's his super all-time fave. He thinks it's the best thing ever. I don't know. I get the impression that Bald Salad is, like, incapable of evil. Not because he doesn't have malicious thoughts, but just because he's, like, too pathetic to do anything. Like, he probably, like, like, maybe the worst he does is that he, like, cuts off people in traffic and, like, flips them off. But I, I think other than kind of being a nuisance, he doesn't really have anything going on. He doesn't have any friends. Like, Small Salad, the original, had so many fucking friends before the curse was lifted. And, like, after the curse was lifted, instantly became the single most popular person on the island. You know, regular Joe is doing fucking great now. But now that Bald Salad doesn't have that, like, very powerful and popular vessel, Bald Salad is just fucking miserable. This, this fucking creature is just, like, fucking miserable. But can't really do anything about it. Yo, what's up, Travis? I haven't seen you in a while. Look what Ooh. I Ooh. It has the name Krongus with Wait, Krongus is like a man of culture. He's got a fucking rob? That's sick as fuck. You found it. I can't believe this. I just I can't thank you enough. Oh, so Travis found it. I'm just so relieved. This means the world to me. Thanks for your help. Here, I want you to have this. Ooh, camera. 
Who knows, maybe someone will fucking ask for a disposable camera again and we'll actually be able to give it to them this time. <laughs> what are you doing rolling around on the floor, Ada? Your best friend is Abraham Lincoln? Actually, that kind of makes sense for you. You're hungry. Have I got the treat for you? Hope you enjoyed that one, Ada. Um... Mirror? Here, I want you to have this. I don't know, I like looking at you. Maybe you like looking at yourself. Did you know Ava and I own a lot of the same books? That also makes sense to me. I can see why you two get along so swimmingly. Aw, oh, look at these two lovebirds. Brittany is still asleep. <laughs> Brittany is fucking snoozing. What have I done? Well, now it's officially early enough for the daytime theme to start playing. A oh, flushed emoji is chilly. No. I'll play with you, Bernie. Why not? Come on. Let's play a game. Wow, Bernie is actually more popular than I thought he was. I I really enjoy also that his number one friend currently is the Frowner. That makes sense to me. That, like, that makes sense. All right. Easy clap. Come on, Bernie. Have you been have you been playing too much video games? You haven't worked those muscles enough. Fuck! I could have gotten toy robot. My brain always goes to like bigger box equals bigger reward, but I could have gotten toy robot. Regular Joe is so gosh darn good looking. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Bernie. Oh, this is sweet. You you love to see this. They're having so much fun. All the Mies are pretty happy right now. There were there were not a lot of problems to solve. <laughs> literally. Literally. Dick Nose is frolicking. Why did I celebrate that? This guy sucks. <laughs> yeah, where's the drama? We need some drama to happen. Everybody's, like, too happy. We need to introduce, like, a villain to the island. Here's the thing. Ever since... The small salad curse got lifted from regular Joe. We really haven't had, like, an island villain. Like, Bald Salad and Dick Nose are both too pathetic to be true antagonists. And, like, Sephiroth hasn't burned down a village, as far as I can tell. Pear ass island. We need, some, we need a new villain. We need someone with truly malicious intent. But who could we make? That is the ultimate question. Who can we make that would make for a good antagonist? Bort too? <laughs> 
Too many motherfucker Morgan characters have gotten a redemption arc. We need, like, the characters to stop, like, doing good. Nagrom. See, like, that would be tempting. Except that, like... That's, that's just, like, a, like, that's, like, stolen valor from, like, the Vine Sauce Tomodachi with, like, Vlinny. And, like, also, I don't ever in my life want to do a Vlinny. That's the, that, like, I don't know, that's scary. We need, we need an original villain. I, I, I can't let that happen to myself. Working. <laughs> well, fuck, it's even more evil that you flipped. You flipped the script. Hmm. <laughs> we should have it Stardust from Aspen. <laughs> I'm not putting in a Hasbro Hotel character, even though that would be really funny. Where was Nightbot for that? I don't know. I think you gotta start, I, I think you gotta say has been, and nothing else, maybe. Oh, I think Nightbot might just be asleep right now. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. It took a bit. Why do we need to have a villain when we have Dick Nose? Because Dick Nose doesn't fucking do anything. He just like sits in his room and like goes on Reddit. He's not interesting enough. We need we need real drama. We need someone who will cause a fucking stir. His name, <laughs> the insect. <laughs> he is the he was he was created in a lab to be a very large bug, but he didn't like that because a bug is not supposed to be large. A bug is supposed to be a very tiny thing. So he was very upset that he was a very large bug. And now he's pissed, and he's going to, like, make it everybody else's pro problem. Problem. 
the insect was created in a lab on a leap year. I'm the insect. I'm, I'm the insect. I'm the insect. I'm the insect. Alter millennial. That's the scariest part. He could be like a Disney adult. He's extremely quick, extremely direct, no expressiveness, very serious, but all in all, very normal. Normal in every way. No, that's not devious enough. A confident go getter is not a very devious personality. For the insect. He's extremely quirky. That still makes him a confident go-getter? Bruh. He's very expressive. Yeah, where's the fucked up slider? That makes him an adventurer? How the fuck does that make him an adventurer? All the way down here. That makes him an outgoing entertainer. Slow, polite, flat, serious, quirky. There we go. See, a lone wolf, I can anticipate being a fucked up guy. I don't get what makes others laugh sometimes. Silly things, it seems. See, he's already freaking me out. Wolves are generally quite quick. Well, he's not a wolf, he's an insect. I gotta make those eyes bigger. <laughs> this me is like genuinely a little frightening. <laughs> this me is like a little upsetting to look at. But that's what we're going for. To be fair. <laughs> this me sucks. This guy is definitely like the most evil thing we've ever introduced. Like, listen. Fucking like small salad and like dick nose, they make they make for great antagonists, but they're like they're like fine to look at. Like small salad and like dick nose are like just kinda like sopping pathetic beasts. I think the insect could kill me. I'm actually like fairly confident that if the insect was real, he would be able to kill me. <laughs> Like, with the other two, I'm like, oh, I don't want to help you out. But I kind of think if I don't help out the insect, he's going to, like, shoot me in the head. Or, like, eat my fucking, like, skin off. How does a bug not like white bread? That's, like, the essential insect tree. Don't like tap water either. Never feed them good food, make them grumpy. I, it seems like I'm already doing that. We have definitely made like our our worst me yet. Morning. I, I it it did not like the phrase them grumpy. Yes. Yes. Ada, you should absolutely become friends with Testament. That's dope. Try to listen. Thanks for the advice. Try to listen to Testament. Can she convince Testament to join the team? I gotta be honest, I, I, I could imagine in my brain that Testament is already friends with Abraham Lincoln. That's probably not true, but I feel like... I, like, it makes sense in my brain. Your friends now, thanks to you. 
Here, I want you to have this. They kind of got the Victorian shtick going on. Yeah. What's up, Baldy? Um... Well, this is gay Baldy. So have a leopard shirt, I guess. Only only women and gay people can wear leopard shirts. We gotta give you a study kit. That's the second notebook. We gotta give Baldi all seven notebooks. Yeah, they tend to have, uh, they tend to have bathrooms around in a lot of places, Baldi. Why are they going to bed at 7 in the morning? Am I crazy, or are more of the me's going to bed? It's 7.30 in the morning. What is wrong with you people? Long night? Yeah, apparently fucking everybody on the island pulled an all-nighter. Why the fuck are they going to bed? You know I gotta play with you, Isaac. Please play with me. You're just a little baby. You're like five. You were just born. I'm so kicking your ass at football, though. I bet you haven't gotten a single fucking damage up, you stupid fucking kid. Get fucking owned. Don't even try. You did it. Congratulations. Sorry, I get very competitive. He was gonna give me a... Teddy bear. That's his. That's his boo boo bear. People say I'm really serious. It's a compliment, right? Isaac, you're making me sad. Pat you on the head and let you know that you're doing well, my boy. This me is so fucked up. Cronups <laughs> like to tell Isaac he's an old soul. It's because of all the trauma. I don't like that his antenna, like, disappears. I really don't like this guy. I think this is- this really is, like, the most evil guy we've ever invented. Anyways, we, we like, created the insect. There actually was one character that I thought about that's not really represented. You know, fo folks will remember Socks Mod. You know, the, the, the Minecraft streams. Those are great. We loved Socks Mod. That was, that was a whole lot of fun. And you might remember that many times, while I just donned an unbox -o man Minecraft skin, uh, many times I have called the character that I was playing the Diamond Dwarf. And that's what we're gonna create right now. We're going to create the Diamond Dwarf. What kind of hairstyle do dwarfs have? Dwarfs kind of do have messy hairstyles. Maybe? I don't know. I can't look at this hairstyle. This is the dick nose hairstyle. Yeah, it kind of does make sense for them to be balding. 
Kinda got like the George Costanza fade. Gotta have like very thick, bushy eyebrows. I think. Very, very thick, bushy eyebrows. This is a Mr. Saturn. We've just created a Mr. Saturn with a beard. But that's okay. Diamond Dwarf some wrinkles. It only makes sense. Yeah, I, li I like the pink. We don't really, we don't really use the pink a lot. Or maybe at all. I don't know if we've used the pink, really. And you know what? Some tiny little glasses. Diamond. A diamond dwarf, he's kind of awesome. His favorite color is light blue like diamonds. Fuck, what would his nickname be? Because we can't fit diamond dwarf as his nickname. <laughs> TD. His name is Dennis. Dennis <laughs> the Diamond Dwarf. When was the first Socks mod stream? That was that was quite some time ago. It was March 25th. I can't remember. I, I, I can't believe I remembered that was March. I guess I did do a lot of it. We had some, we had good times on Socks Mod. And then, like, he's gotta be an older gentleman. He's gotta be, like, in his mid-50s. Or, like... Like, that's not even mid-50s, that's like late-50s. I'm Diamond Dwarf. I'm... I'm Diamond Dwarf. 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 My nickname is... I'm Diamond Dwarf. I'm Diamond Dwarf. I'm Diamond Dwarf. I'm Diamond Dwarf. 
I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor. My nickname is Dish. My birthday is March 20th. I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor. My... I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor. I'm Diamond Floor? My nickname is Dennis. I'm yeah, Dennis the Diamond Dwarf. You know, he's a little he's he's a little slow. He speaks very directly. Little expressive. A little serious. And then like he's normal in every way, you know? Nothing weird about a man who who respect who has his hustle which is which is diamond mining a confident designer him living on the sixth floor is maybe the highest up he's ever been in his life we well, gotta give him white bread and tap water I get it I love making plans and putting them into action there are some memories I'd love to forget. So embarrassing. Have some white bread, man. Here, I want you to have this. And some tap water. He doesn't like it. That's so sad. He's had better, better drinks of water in the mines. What is your problem, Abe? Do you need someone to join the team? It feels like forever since I last saw you Morgans look alike. What should I say when I feel down? <laughs> it's because Dennis is used to diamond dust filtered water. True! Yeah, if Abraham Lincoln got sad, he would just fucking die. Alright. Whenever I'm stressed, I use my punching bag. And before I know it, I feel all better. Ooh, who does bitch want to be friends with? Join the team has to be his catchphrase. Yeah, True I shit. Haven't seen you for a week. Bitch, I, I feel bad for I you. <laughs> Oh, you'll get along swimmingly. Um, be flattering to the neighbor. I will talk to them right now. The neighbor is making making multiple friends today. You know, it's a great day to be the neighbor. Wow. This is great. It worked. We're friends now thanks to you. You've you've needed more friends, bitch. I always felt like bad that like your siblings were like less like more awkward than you ended up like having like more expanded friend groups you know they have their like love relationships now and just like you seem to have gotten the short end of the stick and like i don't want it to like ruin your life you know i want you to like have a very happy life bitch i hang out with neighbor almost every day that is not true you just became friends with him. That is not- that is strictly not true. The only- the only day you would have hung out with him is, like, literally today. Alright, bitch, listen, I've- 
I want good things for you. I don't want you to lie to me, though. <laughs> Please don't do that. I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, me? I'd like to introduce Reggie to somebody. How about? <laughs> Neighbor is making like so many friends today. Everyone loves neighbor. Talk about love. I'll invite them both over. <laughs> Fucking Reggie. Is he never gonna switch out of this ninja costume? Is he like that happy in the ninja costume? I don't get this kid. I feel like multiple times Reggie Minch has requested, like, other outfits, and then he just goes back to wearing the fucking ninja suit. They became friends. It's all thanks to you. You're welcome, me. Here, I want you to have this. I can be a klutz from time to time. When that happens, just go easy on me, okay? She's literally just like me for real. Oh, Madeline's awake! Madeline from Celeste! We haven't had like any interactions with you yet. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, apparently I fed you. Did I give you No. You're getting white bread. I don't know if you wanted food, but you're getting white bread. Like to see a funny face I've been working on? Sure. <laughs> That's what pretty good. Think? Are you impressed yet? I like it. I knew you'd like it. I'm gonna think of even more funny faces to show you. Madeline does have a few funny yeah, faces I in the game. I should probably try harder today so my tomorrow is that much better. Yeah. Let's get you the orange hair dye, Let's also. Because Madeline's hair is like orange as fuck. What color should I use? I can't wait to see how it looks. I love it. You know, actually, her hair is a lot more red in the game than I remember it being. You know what it is? It's like the cover art, where her hair looks like really orange. On the cover of Celeste, her hair is, like, really orange. And we'll roll with it. Have some, play some tennis. I don't know, that's kind of like climbing a mountain. I can't give you any hiking gear. We don't have any places, we don't have any mountains on the island, but... Uh -huh. I think I understand now. <laughs> Unboxo man was like, well, I've heard enough. <laughs> Me and Joe just having a conversation. Bort is just freaking schnoozing. I'll pay you back with interest. You can totally trust me. That's suspicious. What is, what is going on in that brain of yours? <laughs> no, he said you could totally trust me. <laughs> Bort, Bort is a very faithful man. He would never say that.
Mort is very faithful to his wife, Brittany. Although maybe, maybe, maybe he was talking to Brittany when he said that. Hey Morgan, look alive. Haven't seen it is a dream. Even married couples have certain secrets to <gasps> keep from each other. I, you know what? Now I'm a little suspicious. I gotta admit, now I'm a little suspicious. I wasn't sold initially. I haven't seen you. But now I think you might be onto something. I'd like some new clothes. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of casual. Sephiroth, you gotta stop wearing that goofy ass hat. You look like Grandpa. Become a Christ like figure. See, now you look like a proper Sephiroth. Sephiroth looks like so fucked up without long hair. It, like, doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. Maybe I shouldn't have given that, him that book. We all know what happened last time Sephiroth read. It me off when people are late, but they don't apologize. Oh. Uh, I think I might have already started imbuing him with, with evilness. Oh, I did say we needed more villains. And, you know... I mean, we have the insect, but if Sephiroth wants to start being a little evil, I won't complain. Danish. Well, Justin's Justin's getting uh. Getting ready for another day of work at the Just Dance Corporation. Hmm. Why don't we do some quirky questions? I'm like thinking about it. Why don't we do some quirky questions? We got regular Joe, Sephiroth, Big Beef. Isaac, Aboro, and Bethany. We haven't really seen Aboro today. Aboro hasn't really made an appearance up until now. Um. Who likes. Who. Alright, this is, this is a question for, uh. Let's see if any of them care about Guilty Gear. With a big elf out. We got a lot of elf out fans. They're really excited about the new Strive DLC. Joe, Big Beef, Isaac, Bethany. Honestly, this makes a little sense to me. I, I like, think that Sephiroth doesn't fucking know anything about that. And if he does know, he simply does not give a shit. Aboro definitely doesn't know, because she's from, like, fucking medieval times. She doesn't know what a Guilty Gear is. She doesn't know who Elfelt Valentine is. Who has no interest in... This is a question- this is- this is a loaded question. <laughs> Bethany! <laughs> I like Bethany. I could see her being like a little bit of like a Reddit atheist. Isaac? I- I think- like, I can't- that makes sense. After all the shit he's been through, I don't think- 
I would have much interest in religion either. And then Joe and Big Beef just kind of roll their own way. Who wants a life full of... Whimsy. <laughs> Nobody is whimsical? This fucking sucks! What the fuck? Not a single whimsical individual in the crowd? Not one? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Thanks for playing. See you next time. I'm fucking pissed. What the hell? It's time for some questions. All right, so it's Justin Dance, Swagger Two, Regular Joe, Flushed Emoji, Denish, and me. If my me doesn't answer this, uh, she's lying. Yeah, my me is a fucking liar. Literally, like, ev like, every night, I, like, to fall asleep, I put on, like, a Picasso Brevod. My me is a fucking liar. She doesn't know shit. Got the nerd emoji. Fuck. Who hides? Who hides? See, my, like, stupid, like, monkey brain was like, yo, wouldn't it be funny to say anime figures? And it's like, I literally have those, though. It's not, like, a bit. It's not even, like, cringy to have anime figures. We're, like, be an adult. Now, hiding has been in your apartment. That, that's a little more dicey. I don't know who you are anymore. This me is not me. She only answers to shit that, like, I, like, it's either she's not me or she's, like, blatantly trying to piss me off. <laughs> My headcanon for Denish is that Denish just actually has has been hotel characters in his apartment because he just like he's been like digging in the mines and he just happened to find them down there and he doesn't want to want anybody to know that he's found the characters of has been hotel but he has them flushed emoji is like a little bit of a pervert so that makes sense swagger too this isn't your heart i'm just gonna say it this this is this is this is like not it I don't believe you, Swagger 2. No, wait! I bet that Swagger 2 owns the Hasbin Hotel. It's like a business I adventure for him. <laughs> His mother resembles Angel Dust from Hasbin Hotel. <laughs> My mom does not look like Angel Dust. Stop! That's not true. Now, Dennis and Flush, I cannot, I cannot disprove their statements. But me, that's not true. My mom is not Angel Dust from Hasman Hotel. She's a very nice woman. My me needs to stop saying these things. She's trying to cause a stir, and it's not cool. 
You want to make your first friend? That's dicey. Are you looking for vessels? I don't trust you. I don't like where this is going. I don't know. I'm like very wary right now. I'm like I'm like going silent because I'm like I don't know. I don't fucking trust this guy. I know I said earlier today that he's kind of like a pathetic thing, but that was before he like knew anybody. Like the fact that he's trying to integrate himself as like a part of the island makes me think that something is amiss. I don't know, maybe I'm just paranoid. But I don't like it. I don't trust it. Feminist literature would fix him? I don't think anything would fix Bald Salad. Nothing except the cold embrace of death. Oh. I was wondering when you were gonna stop by. I'd like a new look for my apartment. Oh, but this is such a nice apartment for you, though. You get the horror one now. Thanks for the thought. This interior but you don't like it? It's something all right. You literally have, like, Why suck you by and, like, your thing. A this sucks. I'm upset. Ada wants to show me their hometown someday. Sounds fun. Okay, for any of the the Resident Evil lore heads, Ada doesn't live in didn't live in Raccoon City, did she? <laughs> if so, that's a really fucked up thing for her to tell Testament. I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, Mario? I'm hungry. I do feel like we're getting some de some good character moments today from, like, some of the newer islanders. You know, a lot of the older islanders have kind of already had their, like, major arcs. But some of the newer ones, we're getting- we're getting interesting lore on them. Oh, Mario plays golf. Clouds look like cotton candy. I bet they taste so good. Mario! 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 <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is riveting. This is the gameplay that people have been asking for. I fucking suck at this. Holy shit. Did you see how many times it took me to toss that one fucking disc? I 
I think it's funny also that like they can like frisbee is like a copyrighted name, so it has to be called flying disc. The Rintan tornado goes crazy. I have a heart beret. That'll be cute and sweet. I think my goose all moving. People are always waiting on me and getting well. I think you're perfect the way you are, Big Beef. You're the Beef Meister. Alright, I'll play with you, Scout, since you were so enthusiastic about it. I'm going second, alright? You never go first in these. Ah, oh, shit. I just gave him a big advantage. What? Fuck! Am I about to be owned by Scout? I'll try this one out. Oh, this one. It's your turn. It's a Wait, let's go. Good job. It's Bernie. Good job. It's your. It's a micro chip. Wait! I brought it back. I brought it back from this fool. Let's fucking go. Congratulations. All right, I am the scout here. I'm obsessed with having the latest everything. My phone is so last week. That's great, scout. Thank you for sharing. All right, since some of the me's are just refusing to wake up, we're gonna do a quick time skip. Plus, I kind of want to get rap battles in. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to get some rap battles in. Sorry, I got curious what one of the images was on my source. I forgot that I have a bunch of random images from making me's. <gasps> well, shit! Before we check out that, we gotta see... <laughs> Mr. Peterson? <laughs> Who is neighbor in love with? Huh? I'm not so happy. <gasps> I have feelings for me. <laughs> <laughs> neighbor, I'm taken. Oh no. I gotta let him down easy. I can't let him like go into a confession, and then, like, I have to tell him, like, no. That'd be fucked up. But it's also, like, I feel bad, but, like, also, I don't want him to just... Like, either way, he's gonna be sad. Because there's no way my me is gonna be like, oh, yeah, you know what? My really happy relationship with Joe that I wanted to get married over, I'm definitely gonna choose you over that, neighbor. It's not gonna happen. We just became friends today. I'm sorry, neighbor. Why don't you want it? I'm sorry, neighbor. She's taken. I see. I suspect it's not. I guess I'm just not good enough. That's not- that's not it, neighbor. Come on, buddy. It's not that- it's just like... Listen. It just wasn't gonna work out. 
It was it was better for me to tell you now that it wasn't gonna work out than like you go through the trouble of like doing a whole confession in public and getting like really embarrassed. Like I don't want that for you, neighbor. You already had the moment with Matt Pat. All right, you, you. I don't know if your reputation could suffer like another blow like that. Like re rejection from Matt Pat is one thing. Rejection from some fucking no-name streamer, that's got a bite. Alright, that's like... Like, you can't recover from that. So I need, like, you, you just gotta understand, neighbor, that I, I did it for your own sake. I didn't want, like, bad thing. I, like, I didn't want things to be worse for you. All right, cheer. Th there you go. You're all cheered up, buddy. I'm finally starting to feel better. Here, I want you to have this. I'd love to be filthy rich for it to be a secret. No greedy followers that way. All right, neighbor, you're starting to freak me out. I, I like felt a little bad for you, but now you're just starting to scare me. How's it going? I think Justin and I have gotten pretty friendly. What do you think about me and Justin? I mean, I guess so. Is that so? Well, I hope we can become even closer. So, hi, Adrian. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. See, I always look like I'm having fun. That's actually fairly accurate. Fuck yeah, Travis. That's what we like to hear. All right, let's do night market real quick, and then it's time. It's time for some rap battles. A donut? Dude, I already have a million donuts. Ballerina outfit seems like good value. Tennis outfit? That was decent. That was just okay. Also, we can buy the Christmas interior now. Yo, Dennis. This is fucking Denish's 9 to 5 when he's not digging in the mines. Alright. You know what time it is. It's time to bet on some rap battles. Who's it gonna be? Isaac from The Binding of Isaac or Super Mario? I think Mario just for the age advantage. That's my only thing is like Isaac is literally five. I dance to the polka. You're just another doll. Mario is also a New Yorker from Brooklyn. That is true. That is very true. Your apocalypse is here. You better take heed. Damn, Isaac hitting with the apocalypse line immediately. Just like his innermost apocalypse. Got you all wrapped up like thread on a spool. Your flow is a puddle. Mine's deep as a pool. They're both holding it together. I'm an exterminator, and you're just a little pet. Just kidding. That was only a jest. Damn. I can flow forever like a leaky faucet. Drip, drip. What's up? What's wrong? Can't think of a quiz. The fact that, like, this is a rap battle between, like, a middle-aged man and, like, a... Five-year-old is like the sound of your kind of sending me. Your rhymes are OB like a bad drive. Four. My sick flow is what rhymes were made for. I eat rappers like you like a tasty snack. Your 
not a real MC. You're just a hack. Holy shit. These two are like way better at rap battles than I thought they would be. I, I thought both of these characters would be like really bad at this. Y'all sound like an alarm clock. Free, free. They're both holding their own though. I'm I just realized also, I think Mario is shorter than Isaac. Ooh! Yeah, it had to be Mario. I think it always had to be Mario. We'll solve some problems after we get another rap battle in. Bethany versus Madeline. Do we think that Madeline has any, like, rap ability? I don't know if Bethany does. I don't know if either of these women are, like, capable of rapping. Y'all sound like an alarm clock. Free, free. You stole that from Mario. My so I know that you did. Crimes will land you in the slammer. To your coffee machine, I'm the paper jammer. I don't know. I I have no bias here. I could not tell you who would win. Sparkler, I'm straight dynamite. They're giving us like all the rap battle duos where it's like there is not a clear winner. Although in this case, the clear winner was Bethany. Me versus bald salad. <laughs> if my me does not win the rap battle against bald salad, my reputation is going to be ruined. I actually think I'll have to stop streaming permanently because the embarrassment of that scenario will be too much for my like little cartoon me What's to lose to bald salad. It's already not looking great. I already had to bring out the epic fail line. I don't know. It's looking dicey already. Your rhyme crimes will land you in the slammer. Thank God I didn't lose instantly, though. There is a chance. There is a chance my me pulls through. Your clothes are so goofy. They cross the line. Who's next to Testament? Uh, that's Cloud. That's Cloud Strife. I don't know why Cloud and Testament are rooting on Bald Salad. I rap with conviction, but I never get caught. Come on, me. You gotta win. <laughs> You can't, you can't let this, you can't let us lose. I'll die. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like fucking scream if my me loses the bald salad. My sick flow is what rhymes were made for. I'm getting nervous. The fact that this is going on for like a like two minutes is like making me nervous. I teach you some rhymes, but I'm not that kind. He's making me work for it. He's making me work for it. He probably like heard me say like all the things about him being like a pathetic thing. I <gasps> It's over for me. Oh, my Twitch career is over. I lost a rap battle to Bald Salad. Fuck, it's over. What's the fucking point of even doing more rap battles? It's alright, like... The embarrassment will... Like, it's... I'm never gonna live it down. 
I gotta be honest, I'm never living that down. There's not even point in watching more rap battles, because it's like fucking over, dude. What's up, Snoker? I'm hungry. Have I given you white bread? I'm not somehow. Have some white bread. I give you a biscuit, but not white bread. You enjoy that shit, man. Here, I want you Good shit. It. If you tap an islander's head, you might just see what's on their mind. What's that? Do I have something on my face? Is that on your mind? There's a ladybug on your head. That's a big ass ladybug. Dude, ladybugs in real life are like the ladybug. smallest animal ever. I appreciate like, I know there are like literally smaller bugs than a ladybug, but a ladybug feels like the smallest creature ever. Whenever, like, a ladybug gets into my room, it's, like, the- it's, like, smaller than, like- It's, like, the size of the mole on my hand. Ladybugs always scare you when they fly, do they? They're so tiny. I'm not helping you. I'm glad you're miserable. I'm glad your day is going badly. I haven't seen you for a week, Morgan's look alike. What's up, Swagger Freaking 2? I'd like a flashy hat. A flashy hat? What the fuck is a flashy hat? A sombrero seems like decently flashy, I think. What is this, like, fucking, like, airport, like, stewardess outfit that Swagger 2 is wearing? What fucking outfit did I give Swagger to? This is a Victorian suit. I was, I was like... The fucking Swagger 2 is like helping you on the airplane. I'm so happy when you visit me, Morgan's with a lot. I'm glad to hear that, Swagger 2. You're, you're a real one. I'm glad that you're best friends with flushed emoji. Hulk toilet! What's up? You scared the fuck out of me. I'm sorry about that. Well, no, wait, I'm not sorry. That's great. I already gave you white bread, so I guess you can have real food, like a fancy cupcake. He loves it. That Hulk Toilet enjoys a little treat every now and then. Why the fuck did I give you the baseball bat first and not a punching bag? What was wrong with me? Why did I do that? Are you hungry? I guess you're hungry. Maybe go make us a study. Uh, I'll think about it. It's been a while. Where have y'all been? I've been around. I've been around, Raven. I'd like some new clothes. New clothes? You look so good in that, though. Shit. Um. Oh, you, you gotta get bundled up for the winter, right? I'm just gonna put you in another big jacket. Some people are easier to talk to than others. Like you, for instance. I'm glad to hear that, Raven. You can talk to me anytime, man. Real quick, let's check the rankings. Madeline is having a great day. Hey, Cobenny in fourth, you love to see it. Oh, bitch. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Frowner? Frowner is, like, right down the middle. Actually, like, in the top half. Raven is doing great with their friends. 
These people still haven't made friends. I mean, the insect and Denish make sense. I guess Madeline is pretty new too, but you three have no excuse. Snoker has been around, like, too long to not have any friends. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I feel like we added Snoker, like, forever ago. Travis being by far the richest. Oh, Boro has nothing. Oh, no. Anyways, I gotta be honest. I'm, like, feeling the fatigue already. This was- this was a shorter Tamadachi stream, but I think it was still, like, decently productive. Right? We had- we had multiple failed romances. Including the neighbor trying to get with me after the neighbor made, like, a million friends in one day. We had some- we had some funny stuff. We added the insect. The insect might get up to some crazy shit. Um... But yeah, I'm- I'm tired. I gotta be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna go to bed early tonight, but I might, honestly. I'm like feeling super sleepy. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this little midnight stream. Shorter than I'd usually go, but it's okay. I think this is actually still longer than the fucking VGX reaction stream. Um, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow, but I'll definitely be back during the week. I'll be streaming after work. Really, the only other day I work, like, super late is, uh, next Friday. And then, like, any other day, I won't have to do a midnight stream. It'll be decently late. Like, 8, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., but not, not, like, starting at 11, like I did tonight. Um, but that's gonna be it for tonight's stream. I wanna thank you all for coming. Hope you all have a good night and take care. Um, I'll be back real soon with some more shit. We'll have Knuckle Sandwich, we'll have Mega Man 7, and who knows what else we'll have. Um, but, have a good night everybody, take care. Thank you for streaming, thank you for coming.